and a lot of men will try and pass it off as oh girls are being superficial i want a girl that will ride or die for me i want a girl that can hold me down like keisha core held gucci main down when he went to prison no 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 oh. <laughs> what's up y'all so today we're going to react to a woman advising other women to stop dating men because of their potential. I, I think, and I ain't seen the whole video, um, and I'm not gonna look at the whole video in this clip, I'm just gonna look at clips. If you want the, the full video, I'll leave a link in the description below. But I think what she's saying is, stop dating a man based on what they could be. Mm -hmm. Like, date a man based on where they at right then right then <laughs> like okay. when you meet them i think this comes from a youtuber called brainy lee um again we're not going to react to the whole video uh, if you want to see the whole video i will leave a, a link in the description below i thought this was interesting i stumbled on this video nobody sent it to me um and i just thought it'd be a good video to get a woman's perspective on <laughs> I'm scared to watch. <laughs> you, don't, you always be making me watch stuff that's real triggering. I don't even know what I'm about to get into. I might be more triggered than you on this one because, you know, I wasn't always in a good place. You know, like I had to struggle to get where I'm, I am in life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when she say potential, I was that guy who had potential. Right. but was not there yet so but let's see what let's see what she's talking about recognizing that somebody has potential is great but it is just not enough you cannot build your life your future on what he could be you must build your present and future on what he's already showing you now and sure do people grow yes do people change yes do people evolve yes but you can kind of get an idea of who somebody is by looking at where they're at now talking about the sacrifices that they've had to make to get here talking about their past sometimes it's possible to see who a person is by looking at where they are now not always there's always an exception to the rule but most of the time it's always easy to see who a person is by what they're currently presenting in front of you and let me be clear there's always exceptions to this rule my friend met her now husband when he didn't have a dime i mean he only had probably 50 pounds in his account and that wasn't always the case but he was going through a rough time i'm talking about people that have a pattern of behavior that is counterproductive to what you want in a man but i hope i'm talking to women who have standards or want better for their lives and a lot of men will try and pass it off as oh girls are being superficial so so she, this triggering for you <laughs> <laughs> she's speaking facts for you no, well i don't know if she's speaking facts and i haven't i i don't really know what she's about to say okay so. but no i'm not i'm not triggered by what she said um, what but she did make it she she did say the exception is if you're just having a rough time mm-hmm which is okay but um i think when she said you can tell the type of guy and what his potential is based on where he is now i don't know if that's always true some guys can be down and out mm -hmm. and you think you know they're just not never going to be what they're never going to be successful and you could be completely wrong you could be i would say 50 wrong. 50 percent of the time right but i i also believe that if it takes a special woman to see through that not not all women are going to see through that some women are going to see you down and out and be like "Ooh, <laughs> he ain't mm -mm, girl he ain't got nothing he ain't gonna be nothing he ain't never gonna go nowhere but a, a woman that's truly for you can see through that she can see past that and be like yeah he, he's down now but he is going somewhere not only is he going somewhere but where he is right now he he's motivated he has you know he has a lot of drive so a lot of women can also see through that and a lot of men will try and pass it off as oh girls are being superficial i want a girl that will ride or die for me i want a girl that can hold me down like keisha core held gucci main down when he went to prison no 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 oh. <laughs> that 
that's disheartening a little bit because we do want to ride or die yeah everybody Th wants to ride or die that's what makes a relationship solid is you know that she's going to be there for you when the chips are down mm -hmm. well let, let's continue on and just because it worked for her just because it worked for keisha in that case does not mean that she is the rule there are always exceptions to every rule and a lot of guys when trying to defend their point like to say oh but wait didn't she just contradict herself <laughs> You triggered. No, I ain't triggered. <laughs> Maybe usually, I'm a little triggered. Usually, I'm the one that's triggered. So, you know, I I don't mean to laugh at his pain. I just, I just, you know, I'm just giggling at this. But, but go ahead, man. They say, oh, but Michelle Obama was with Barack before he was the president of the United States. The difference between Barack and your bum ass is that what? he was always making steps toward becoming Damn. president. Why do I have to be a bum? Why, should, why do I gotta be bum ass? And your bum ass. Why do Damn. I have to... See this one? Why do I have to be a bum? The, the difference between Barack and, and your, your bum ass. Damn. So I think that's speaking in... No, no. Okay. No, so no, now no, I understand. No, disre no disrespect to her. Um, she she doesn't even know her audience who she might be speaking to. and She, she, talk, she talking to somebody in particular somebody in particular okay so that's not a general statement for guys she's not talking to all y'all so it might be a better it don't might be a better thing going on a little bit here. she said yo but y'all see the still image we looking at her at her face after she said it <laughs> like she's looking into Look, this one guy's soul and she's talking to him pissed her off she's okay. talking to you so, she's not okay. talking to everybody of the United States and even if he didn't become the president he would have got close okay he not only had potential but he had ambition ambition is what are you doing now to get to your end result okay now I can feel her on the ambitious tip if a dude is not ambitious I can understand that more yes now if you get with a guy and he's not where he should be yet financially or in life or in general that but he has ambition I would think that's your opportunity to stick with that guy Mm -hmm. and to help him get there support him to get there right you know be that cheerleader or be that woman who encourages him daily to go out and continue doing what he needs to do that you believe in him mm -hmm. that kind of thing um i feel on the ambition part but you know if, the difference between obama and your bum ass i don't feel on that because well, because any woman probably could have looked at obama at that time and been like obama's a bum yeah, but the right woman would have looked at Obama and been like, he's going to make it. Right. I agree. But I will say that um, maybe she just didn't say it correctly. <laughs> no, she said it correctly. I mean, maybe she should have said it in a different way because I, I see her point on some things um, in what I would say if, if I was saying something like that. I would not say... Don't be, don't get with a guy because of his potential. Because, you know, you can get with a guy because of his potential. By all means, you can do that. Get with him when he's at his low point and then ride with him to the top. However, um, what I would say, I don't know if she was trying to say that, but what I would say is if you are not happy with this guy right where he is, if you think that he's a bum ass right now then don't be with him when he when he at the top oh not you not i'm i'm sorry <laughs> my bad i'm just saying but like if you really think he a bum when you get with him don't be with him when he's at the top or don't or don't get with him knowing you don't really like him like that and be like oh but he could be a doctor mm. but he could be the governor but he could be the president, but he could be a lord. What? No, you need to be completely, utterly satisfied with him right where he's at. Right. And if he gets further, then great. Right. Great. Right. But if he don't, you, you better be happy. Okay. There is a difference between a man that is a dreamer and a man that has ambition. And the difference is what are they doing? Talking about, oh, one day I'm going to be a millionaire. One day I'm going to own a business. One day I'm going to get a degree. One day I'm going to become a preacher. One day I'm fixing to. One day I'm finna to. One day. What are you doing today? 
today, 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 today. Hold on, let me stop there right there because now I'm triggered because the Pisces in me is a dreamer. And I'm always like, one day I'ma do this. One day I'ma do that. Yeah, I dream of a lot of different things, but that don't that don't mean I'm a bum. I'm a dreamer. Like and I some of those things I make happen. It comes to fruition. Some some things not don't be knocking the dreamers. Hey, I'ma tell you, from a guy standpoint, if I'm telling you my dreams and your reaction is always, well, what are you doing about it? You're a buzzkill. Like you are a that part. I will take that as okay, you're not supportive. That part. Like if I'm a dream, dream with me. And then right. that your ability to dream with me is what's gonna give me the motivation to set forth a plan. Right. But if I have the dream like, well, what are you doing about it? It'd be like Dang, can the kid it, it feel like okay, you don't really you don't really believe here because I haven't started the steps yet. You haven't really believed here. You're gonna have to dream with me, you right. know, in order to ride with me. You know. Right. If I could sometimes my goal is way here, you know, and if I miss it, I'm still amongst the stars. Like if I shoot for the moon and I miss, I'm still amongst the stars. Um, and if I feel that enthusiasm coming off of you too, mm -hmm. that's gonna make me okay. Okay, we're both excited about it. Step one, step two, step three. I'm gonna show it to you. What you think? Right. Well, I think that it. Okay, bet. Right. Okay, what about? How about that? Because you're right. dreaming with me. We're in this thing together. And your response to the "How about that?" needs to be positive. Positive. It needs to be like, "Hey, go for it!" Like, okay. what can I do to help you? Yada yada yada. I feel like guys don't settle for potential no guy is going to marry you if they can't visually see now who you are because who you are now to men is who you're going to be okay that is that true no i don't think that's true i don't think that's true either guys guys really hey they they really do they be like she would be a good mother one day mm-hmm she would be able to take care of me when I'm sick. She mm -hmm. would take care of my kids and she would make sure that my kids bring, bring my kids up the way that they need to be brought up. And you can be rough around the edges at first. You can be a little, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you can be a little like not knowing how to deal with situations at first. A man will work with you to help you if he, they see the potential. So comment below all my fellas and I guess all my ladies too. Do y'all really agree with what she said here is Men don't date potential. We date a woman who's already where we want them to be. I tell you, I know guys and high value guys, they'll take a woman that's a little, if they think you'll be a good nurturer for me and my kids, you'll be great in my household, you'll be a great support system for me as I go out and hustle and just that and third. Even if you're a little overweight, like they'll, they'll wipe you up and like be like, get you on a workout regimen I'm just saying, I've seen it happen. Like, you can't have a complete sloppy, <laughs> a complete say, look, sloppy, hate the gym, allergic to weights. So, I, so I could be plus or minus 100 pounds, you'd be good. If the weight is in the right areas, yeah. No, we don't give me no Nah, nah, if your, if, if your gut is hanging over and you yeah. got a booty do, back in yeah. the day they call it a booty do, we will find a personal trainer for you that fits to your schedule and be like, baby, I sure appreciate it if you, it's good for your health. <laughs> We know that you're not gonna come across that a whole lot. A nurturing, caring, giving person, really. You know, people are not, most people are selfish. Can I take that to the bank? Most people are selfish. Most people are right. selfish, right? So if you meet a woman that's not selfish and selfless and caring, a dude will see that potential and work with you. From what I've seen. One of my things on my list was financially stable, okay? And that does not mean he gotta be a millionaire. He gotta be financially stable. He gotta have savings. He's gotta have money put away for a rainy day. He has to be financially literate. He needs to understand money. He needs to be a good spender, a good saver. He needs to be able to get knowledge. He needs to be able to be open to counsel and advice. All of these things make up a financially stable person. Ooh. So, it sounds like she wants a guy who's already at the finish line. Is and that she, safe to say? And she want money. She want money. That's that's what you're getting from her too. Look, you ain't gotta be no millionaire, but you been you better do be goddamn close to it. 
<laughs> you, better <be laughs> you, way. From it. you better be on your way. You better have financial counsel. You better you better figure out how to how to save to be a millionaire. <laughs> so now they would say she want a high value man. Is that safe to say? A high value. I think Kevin Samuels kind of made it. <laughs> he kind of made it viral. Kevin Samuels kind of made it viral, right? She want a high value guy. I don't know, because the only description I heard was money. Right. You really, and this is a little game for my ladies out there. If a high value guy had you when he was on his way to being high value, that's a great opportunity to have a high value guy that's committed to you. That's it. Because you were there in the trenches with him. And if you were not, if you're the type of woman that he thinks would have been in the trenches with him, that's also a good thing. I feel like if you want a guy who's already at the finish line, you miss that opportunity to be able to build a relationship with a high value guy where he'll be committed to you. Because I'm going to tell you, I think if I'm high value and you were not there, or I don't think you're the type of woman that would have been there. Like if I'm high value and I know, okay, you are here because I'm high value. Like there's no other reason why you're here. I'm not just going to want you because if a, <laughs> there's a hundred of women just like you. What makes you special? If, if I'm high value and you're with me because I'm high value, no other reason. I can choose, like I earned my right to get here. You didn't help me. It doesn't sound like you're the type of women that would have helped me at all. Facts, big facts. So I can choose several of y'all. Why would I just choose you? Now, are you are you about to show another Kevin Samuels video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're in the top 10% of all mankind, from a value standpoint, and again, understand, from a money, from a length of money standpoint, from being acknowledged by... <laughs> <laughs> Acknowledged by other men that you are of value, by having a network of high value men and other people, by being visible and having a network of high value men and being useful to others in the group. Ladies, understand what about you makes you think that a man that's that valuable, that 90% of the females on the planet would love to sniff his beard. What makes you think he's going to go out and slay the Minotaur and fight Cerberus? You are a human, you? <laughs> you didn't think he he's going to get out and fight Cerberus and do all these things to come home and just be loyal to you? Oh, 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 oh. Men who sit around talking about they walk this moral path are lying to you more often than not. There are men who choose to abstain from relations with other women. But understand, it is a choice. Yeah, so basically, what he's saying is, if you're everything that she wants in a guy, you're up there. Like, you're, you're probably a top percenter of guys. And if that's the sole reason why you're liking that guy, there's a lot of options for that guy to find that type of woman who wants him because of that. Because clearly they're ready to sniff the beard. Sniff the beard. <laughs> <sighs> but I mean, if I know that's why you're there, seriously, why should I settle for you? Especially if I that's know true. that you would not have been there otherwise. I feel like you're missing out on a prime opportunity to get a high value guy and he's loyal and committed to you. Like he might not be perfect, he might make mistakes here and there, but the core of him is gonna be attached to you forever because you were there for that ride. Even if y'all break up, he's gonna look out for you. Like, because you were there. You know what I mean? You're, you're missing out on that opportunity by wanting a finish, I call it, Kevin Samuels called it high value, I call it a finish line guy. <laughs> Which means you already won already the race. <laughs> right. Right. If you want this finish line guy, Help him, in, in, in my opinion. Now, ambition, I'm with her on ambition. If he 
oversleeps every day. He doesn't work out. Right. He's lazy all day, every day. But you would know I that. understand. You, you, know you would that know that. Yeah. Quickly. But he's not where I need him to be. He's not financially stable. Most of us are not going to be financially stable mm -hmm. when we're on our way to being that guy. You know, I speak my own, my own experiences. You know, I was homeless there for a little bit. I was in college, but I was homeless, <laughs> right? Trying to put myself through college, you know? Have doors closed in my face, left and right, mm -hmm. you know? And luckily, it, it wasn't even women that I dated, but I had girls helping me out at that time. Real talk. And they're like, man, I see what you're trying to do. I support you. You need something to eat. You need this. You need that. Right. We're still friends to this day right. because of that. And I would never do anything to jeopardize that friendship. Like, I wouldn't even try to date these women or anything like that. Because that's how, in, that's how dear I hold them. And even my homeboys. If I had homeboys that were there during that time, guess what? Those are still my homeboys to this day. So when high value men get there... They look back at those times where I was not this guy and I had doors closed in my face. Who was there? Support the guy you got now. If he has ambition. If he has ambition, but he's not financially stable, he's not all these things he's right now, but he has ambition, I would encourage you to support that man. He might surprise you. A few different religions will say love is patient. That's the number one description of love is patient that's the first description of love love right. is patient love is kind right and if you're saying that you don't have the patience to date a guy based on his potential you're already telling me up front that you're not a very loving person you're very this is what i need this is what i want type person what if a guy's not financially sound but he's a great family guy right like he's great with kids right and uh he's the type that would be a great father like, he's not financially sound, but he'll do whatever his kids need to have done to make sure they're financially mm -hmm. sound, okay? Like, there's uh, so many things that you're missing out on because you're just looking at money and financially right. and this, that, and the third, and he's not there, he's not where I need to be. Look at his character. Right, because he could be that man that, that makes the money, is always at work, and never with you and the kids, or makes the money and always at work, give, giving you whatever you need financially, but... Secretary Sasha. You know? <laughs> Secretary okay. Sasha like him too. <laughs> Secretary Sasha over here sniffing the beard. But comment below on two things. Number one, do y'all think men date potential? And also comment below on if you're a woman, would you date a guy based on his potential? Like, do you think it's cool for a woman to not date a guy because he's not where she thinks he should be right then? Thank y'all for watching, guys. Comment below. This is a good one. Comment below, y'all. I'm curious to see y'all comments. Peace.